sexual competition is harsh. We know this by the amount of times we have been rejected on Tinder, but also by looking at all the adaptations animals have to attract partners, from colors and sounds and dances to huge horns to fight for them. This is crucial because, evolutionary speaking, if you survive but didn't reproduce, you lose. For winning, animals need to pass their genes. That means they need to find a mate and have as much offspring as they can. This is not an easy task, because here's the thing. Even if a male finally copulated, he's still not done. Sperm competition is when the jaculates of different males compete inside the female tract to fertilize the same set of eggs. Because it is the last step before fertilization, it's a strong selective force that has resulted in incredible adaptations to try to avoid it. Let's see some examples. Let's imagine this is a basic scheme of a female. <laughs> some animals have external fertilization. For this, males can use their behavior. They can guard the female and scare competitors away. This can also work for internal fertilization. But in this case, males can try to copulate multiple times to put more sperm inside. This would be like buying more tickets in a lottery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, other animals have mechanical adaptations. Dragonflies and dancerflies, their penis looks like a spoon that will remove the competitor's sperm before inserting theirs. Thank God we're not dancerflies, right? <laughs> But yeah. Um, and other animals have been more practical even. For example, capybaras, after copulation, they use a plug <laughs> that will block the entrance to rival sperm. This copulatory plug is actually made by seminal fluids and proteins, but some nephilid spiders have taken it to an extreme. And just after copulation, they will break their copulatory organ, let's say their penis, and leave it there blocking the entrance. But wait, because bedbugs are even more extreme. And instead of taking the long road, they just pierce the female through the abdomen to get a faster access to the eggs. <laughs> Crazy. And there's even chemical manipulation. Uh, during copulation, some drosophila flies can add some pheromones that will make the female less attractive to other males. <laughs> And the list goes on. There's still so much to understand, like uh, how this um, I'm sorry, uh, there's still so much to understand about how these uh, selective forces on reproductive traits can produce these adaptations and uh, influence the evolution of a species. All this sounds terrible for females, but actually they have developed their own strategies to gain some control. That will be a topic for another day, so today I'm just going to say a cheese to you and thank you for your attention. Thank you.